Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip on how to convert fractions into decimals. I wanted to quickly point out that all of these tutorials will eventually be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com and here's some other websites for your reference. I am going to start off here with a pretty simple fraction. I'm going to go ahead and do one-fourth and in a fraction the top number is always going to be called the numerator the bottom number is going to be called the denominator so in order to turn that into a fraction it's going to be the denominator divided into the numerator and in this case we know four is larger than one so we're going to have to go ahead and add some zeros here we'll put the decimal place right here four goes in does not go into one but four goes into ten two times and then two times four is eight and then um, let's see 10 minus 8 is 2 carry down to 0 and 4 goes into 20 5 times and that's an even 20 so comes out to 0 so there we have the answer is 0.25 and that is what we call a terminating decimal uh, that doesn't run on and on and on and doesn't uh, resolve so a good example of a repeating decimal would be one-third. So if I do that one and I convert that into a fraction, it is going to be three goes into one. And then I'm going to add some zeros here. Put my decimal place there. Three goes does not go into one, but three goes into ten three times. Make that a little clear. Three times three is nine. Have one left over. Carry the zero down. Three goes into ten three times same thing three times three is nine one left over carry the zero down it's going to be point three 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 uh... so it's just going to be a repeating decimal so one quick way to um, identify if you will have a repeating or terminating decimal is if your numerator um, has a power of ten so whether it has to be a factor of like ten one hundred one thousand um, so it may take a while to um, mathematically do it but there's some numbers that you can tell will automatically be uh, be a terminating decimal like twos fives um, and tens obviously um, that will have a, a power of ten and so this is a good case here one good example here one-third is a uh, is a repeating decimal so I'm going to do one that's a little more difficult here and I'll do uh, let's say Let's do 11 sixteenths. Okay, so that's going to be 16 goes into 11. And I know that it's going to take several several spots here, so I'm going to put several zeros here. So I'm going to put my decimal place here. 16 goes into 110. I'm going to ballpark it and say 6. 6 times 6 is 36 carry the 3, 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 3 is 9. Okay, so we did good there, so we got 10, carry the 1 over, 10 minus 6 is 4, 10 minus 9 is 1. So now we got, now we carry the 0 down, right there. Um, 16 goes into 140, it looks like about 8 times. So let's do 8, 8 times 6 is 48. Carry the 4 over here. 8 times 1 is 8, plus the 4 is 12. I can see that's 12, but we're going to go ahead and do it a long way. 10 minus 8 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. I'm going to carry this 0 down. 120. Well, I know that um, 8 was 128, so I know it's going to be 1 less than that. 7 times 6 is 42. 4 is already there. 7 times 1 is 7 plus the 4, 11. So there we have 2, and we go R of that 1. 10 minus 2 is 8, and now I carry down this 0. And we have 16 goes into 80. Well, we know 16 goes in, uh, six, 16 times 6 is 96, so we're going to do a 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Change that back to a zero. Let me erase that so make it a little cleaner. That's going to become a carry a three there. 
5 times 1 is 5 plus the 3 is 8 so there we have it we zero out and now we have 6.6875 which is a terminating decimal so 16 does have a power um, of 10 or factor of 10 10 100 1000 and so forth so now I'm going to do one more where we where I do an example of a numerator larger than a denominator so five seconds which also could be written on a math problem as two and a half and I could ask you to convert that into a fraction or sorry into a decimal so now what do I do I'm going to do two goes into five two goes into five two times five minus four is one so now I'm going to put a decimal place here Add some zeros, carry the zero, carry the zero down. Two goes into ten five times. So five seconds is the same as two point five. So thanks for joining, and take care.